More than a day after his death from cancer, Tony Gwynn's fans are continuing to gather around his statue outside Petco Park. 10 News reporter Steve Fiorina has been there all day as well. And Steve, many are wondering what the Padres are going to do on a grander scale. They are, I take it, but no decision just yet. The Padres told me today they are looking at possibilities, but they are also talking with the family about when and what should be done. If you take a look over here, all the folks around and the items that have been brought here, there are a great many people who want to pay tribute. For some, it's a day of overwhelming sadness. I was there with him and his family for doing this whole situation. It's just hard. Fighting back tears. I grew up as a 7 up junior padre when I was a very little girl here many years ago. Uh, I watched Tony play his first game. Day to share with the family. Just to pay my respects and just to be a part of, of his, what, what happened and it's, it's, it has me choked up. There are also people checking out Tony Gwynn memorabilia. Tony Gwynn rookie cards, uh, maybe baseballs. Um, this morning I sold, uh, or just a little bit ago, I sold a uh, signed base and a um, signed uh, cleat. <laughs> Anything with a signature. These pictures show how that evolved. On the left, the way he signed when he first broke in with the Padres, more of a flourish in later years. And items are more valuable now. Those pictures were $69, now $89. The signed jersey, $399. A signed bat listed for $350. They've gone up a little bit, but not as much as a normal, you know, person passing away would be because of the fact that he signs a lot of stuff out there. Always fan friendly, Tony signed whenever asked. He hasn't repriced this yet, called 21 batting titles, with autographed photos of Ted Williams, Stan Musial, and Tony Gwynn. Just under $2,000. Padres are back on the field at Petco Park tomorrow night at 7:10. A grand farewell, as we saw for Padres announcer Jerry Coleman a few months ago. Not in the cards just this quickly, but there will certainly be some quiet moments tomorrow night, and of course, some applause for number 19. Live at Petco Park, Steve Fiorina, 10 News.